Digital currencies are making their way across the Holy Land, but use cases vary drastically between Israel and Palestine. While tech-savvy Israel represents the innovation and profit-driven side of the blockchain industry, beyond the borders in Gaza and the West Bank, Palestinian citizens are exploring the lofty ideals of Bitcoin as payments. There's a lot of innovation from the tech side going on, a lot of wallet infrastructure, layer ones, DEXs, vault aggregators, DeFi, NFTs, um, tooling, you, you name it. For a country of roughly 9 million people, Israel is known as a startup nation and a high tech hub. You know, as of uh, January of this year, we had 112 startups. They were active and they were working. That number suffered a 60% drop from 285 active startups in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic shutdowns. That was the best thing that could have happened because it's weeded out all the actors that were not the most ecosystem friendly, let's call it that. And it just opened up uh, the new generation of growth for Israel startups to literally start developing the protocols to take it to the next level. There's a lot of brain power here. As a fan, we see it. As an enthusiast, I see it. But the larger, more retail-oriented public is just is more concerned in getting rich quicker. Crypto trading is gaining popularity among the retail community in Israel. Local Bitcoin exchange Bits of Gold has surpassed 1 billion shekel in trading volume with 110,000 registered local users. While it is fairly easy to set up an account to start trading, it is not cheap. Some centralized exchanges charge 4 to 6% in trading fees. Over in Palestine, on and off ramps just don't exist for most digital transactions, let alone crypto trading. Go, we go through hell over high water just to, to get a PayPal account. But sometimes I refer to our internet as blind internet, meaning we cannot do much with it because we cannot transact. That's why Ashraf Kamal, a software engineer and retail trader, says Bitcoin is not common among his peers. Maybe three, three of my friends are uh, using Bitcoin as well. It is uh, not common at all. But public blockchain networks like Bitcoin are particularly appealing as a means of payment, especially for freelancers like Kamal, who receive payments from outside of the country. The current uh, payment system it is a not fair system. When I want to transfer my Upwork account money from the Upwork to my local bank account, it took at least three days and cost me about $40 for every one transaction. And in the same time, if my bank account decide to refuse it, he can refuse it. Imagine that you have your own money and you cannot get it. There's a lot of freelancers in Gaza. There's a lot of freelancers in, in the West Bank. Uh, there's a lot of businesses that want to transact and sell online, but the internet is blind to payment transactions. As a Palestinian, you're clever enough to find the, an alternative way to transact and get paid. So, could a central bank digital currency be a panacea for Palestine's payment challenges? For us as a nation to start using digital currencies to transact, uh, use yeah, it's, it's very much viable. Whether it's the same digital currency will be recognized by the likes of IFC, World Bank, uh, the government of the United States, uh, government of Israel, is a totally different topic, I can imagine. But if we want to pilot crypto as payment means, I am all for that. In June, the governor of the Palestinian Monetary Authority told Bloomberg TV that Palestine is looking to launch its own central bank digital currency. So we aim actually to limit the use of cash, especially actually the Israeli cash. Our strategy is to use the digital currency for uh, the payment uh, systems in our uh, in country. This comes days after Bank of Israel Deputy Governor Andrew Abir confirmed the bank has already run a digital shekel pilot. However, Collider Ventures' Abil Yaakov thinks political gridlock in the Israeli government means citizens won't be using a digital shekel for at least a decade. But when that day does come in Israel... I think we'll probably take a digital shekel or, or a central bank digital currency of sorts.